Okay, so uh, my good friend Barry Anderson, after watching his recent tutorial, he was like, wow, how'd you do all that stuff in Keynote? So, Barry, I'm going to break it down here. So here's a few things that uh, Keynote can do. Uh, a little animation and a dissolve like that. Um, I'm not going to get into that one. Um, here's, here's one that's kind of cool. If I just hit a single trigger, I can make all this stuff happen all at once. Uh, actually, it's two triggers. Okay, we're going to do that. And uh, let me th see. Now I'm going to jump down. Oh, here's another Here's another little gizmo. I'm going to build a, um, what is this called, a table. And then I'm going to annotate on a little, uh, little circle like that. And uh, another thing I'm going to show you, ah, the famous uh, 6 megabits per second guy. So I'm going to show you how I ripped this guy apart like that and then put him back together like that. All right, all that's done in Keynote. So let's start with the um, slide number one. First one is the compression basics. Bunch of animate, a bunch of uh, little icons build on, then we wipe on an arrow, and then we pop on a couple things. Now there's a lot more I can do. I just wanted to do the pop. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, here is a, another version of that slide that doesn't have all the animation. So when I turn it on, everything just pops up. So first of all, let's break it down. What do we have? Well, what I've done is I've gone into the Mac Finder and I've stolen a bunch of these icons. These icons actually are like 515 pixel, 512 pixels square and they're gigantic. Um, very high resolution, they look great. So I basically, I just brought them in one at a time. They're PNG files, see? And uh, some of them, these Adobe ones even have some transparency. See, you can kind of see the YouTube through there. Um, I have an arrow, which I drew, and then I have a couple more logos here. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want these to dissolve on, but I want to do them one at a time. So essentially, the way you make something dissolve is you come over to your little inspector here. Let me close this, show you where it comes from. There's my inspector, and you got all these icons across the top. We're not going to go into all the icons, but what I am going to do is I want to show you how to use the build command. So the build inspector is right here, and you have build in, build out, and action. We're not going to get into action. It's a little tricky. Um, build out kind of makes sense, but essentially what we're going to do is build in. So what I want to do is I want to take this icon, and I want to dissolve it in. Simple as that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click on dissolve. And then I'm going to click a rate here because a second is a little too slow. Now, I'm going to turn this bad boy on. Now, you notice the, final, the old Final Cut 7 icon isn't there. And when I hit my space bar, or excuse me, my arrow, it dissolves in. Okay, that's good. And actually, let's double check because I'm not sure if that's the same. Oh, no, I did pop. All right. So back to our sample one. I didn't do a dissolve in. I did, I believe it's called pop. Yeah, and if you see right here, when you select this, you can see a representation of it. So I'm gonna go into play mode here, and it goes pop, okay. So now what I wanna do is I actually wanna do that to all of these icons here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of lasso. Um, you don't have to lasso the entirety of it, but you just have to cross over one pixel of it. And I want all of those to be pop, okay. Now, oh, look at that. They are already cascading. That's quite fortuitous, but it's a second click. No, it's each one is a click. Okay, so each one is a click, and that's too much work. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take these, oops, I don't want to grab that. We're going to take these little guys, and we're going to cascade them. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to make, uh, whenever you select a bunch of stuff, if one of these things comes out blank like that just was, it just means that the duration is different for all of them. So I want them all to be a half second. And then if I click this more options, oh, look at this little guy. Okay, so now we're getting kind of deep into the, the, the bowels, if you will, of uh, Keynote. So what I want to do is this is Final Cut Pro. This is uh, something I dragged in. This is another blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's all my icons. So what I want to do is I want number two to happen. So first of all, number one is happening on a click, okay? Number two is going to happen with number one, but I'm going to delay it by 0.1 seconds. All right, and now I'm going to just keep doing that. So I want this to happen with number one, but I'm going to delay it by 0.2 seconds. And I'm going to just keep going down the line. These happen, the priority of these happens to be right. Uh, this is going to be 0.3 seconds. This one is going to be 
delayed uh, with build one by 0.4 seconds. And this one is going to be build with one 0.5 seconds. All right, now if I hit play, what do I got? I, I trigger my space bar. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now they kind of slow down. I think that's just a limitation of the computer, but that's the deal. That's the way it goes. All right, next step we want to do is we want to actually uh, wipe this little um, this little arrow on. You know, let's close this little drawer. We're going to wipe this on, and then we're going to we'll do something besides what I did on this. So I'm going to select this arrow. Now, how did I draw that arrow? I probably came up here and drew an arrow, went like this. There's more drawing controls over here. I can make my line thicker. There we go. That's how I drew the arrow. And then I can point it any direction I want. Okay, so that's how you draw something. All right, so what I want to do with this guy is I want to go back to my build menu. I want to build it in. And I want to build it in with a wipe. And look at that. It defaults to left to right. Exactly what I want. Okay, I'm going to make it go a little faster. Maybe faster still. All right, and then, and you'll notice, see, see how this already pops up with no order number seven? If I go to my drawer, you could see there's my line, which would be nice if we called it an arrow. Okay, now we're going to do something uh, cool with the YouTube and the Vimeo things. So let's go down to our effect. Uh, what is flash bulbs? That's ridiculous. Yeah, screw that. That's absurd. Uh, lens flare. Oh, yeah, J.J. Abrams would love that. Um... Let's just do scale, okay? So scale's kind of nice. So we're going to go, that's going to be number eight. We're going to do the same thing with Vimeo. We're going to come down here to scale. And now we're going to open up the drawer because I want the line to be on a click, but I want this to happen with build seven, but we'll delay it by, say, 0.2 seconds. And then we'll have this one. Uh, delay by 0.4 seconds. We're going to slow that down a little bit. And we're going to speed up the duration of these two effects. Uh, what? That's ridiculous. Okay, so now we've animated the entire slide. One, air, one click does all my applications. Second clip does the arrow and my two pop-ups. Okay, so that's cool. That's all done in real time. Okay, the next slide we're going to... Uh, mimic is our um, interactions of data and this is one click two clicks and I'm doing the right hand arrow here three clicks four clicks five clicks six clicks all right so how the hell do you do all that okay what we're going to do is we're going to go to our clean unfettered version of it and basically the best thing to do is to draw everything up the way you want it okay so how do we do this well um, first of all this is just a circle and we drew this circle. I'm going to delete that circle. We'll draw another one. So I come down here to the circle tool. No, I don't want it to look like that. Um, I want to go to the drawing tool. I want the fill to be none. I want the stroke to be a line. I want the stroke to be thicker. I want, the, I want to change the color of the stroke. And we'll go to like this dark red. Okay. And then I'm going to just make it bigger. And I can oval it out. You know, I can... Make it however I want. Okay, so, but at any rate, that's going to want to be animated on. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So how did we do this table? Well, the table is actually very easy. If I come up here to the table command, actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just make the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select the table, delete it. So I'm going to go table, and the tools that... These kind of tools are actually really, really good in Keynote. Okay, so I want this to be three rows and two columns. No, I want it to be two rows and four columns, I think is what it was. And, uh, you know, you have like front and back type stuff too here. So I'm going to push this to the back. And we're going to just move our little circle out of the way. Nice feature keynote is I can drag stuff off of the canvas, but I still have access to it. Okay, so then this is just, you know, words, right? And I'm just, these aren't real words. I'm just slapping down, you know, different things. Okay, now I want to build this on, right? So I click on it. I go to my build command. 
and I want to dissolve it in and you notice the icon dissolves the whole thing in but I don't want it to deliver the whole thing at once what I'd rather do is do it by row no not by row by column there we go so now when I hit play and I press the right arrow button there's one two three four very cool all right now let's bring our circle back in because I want to animate that guy in and I'm going to build that in and we'll just do a, um, let's do a, 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 what was that thing called? Scale. Because that's kind of nice. We'll speed it up a little. You notice it defaults to number two. And if I wanted these to happen in a different order, I would just drag these around up here. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to slide this guy in. We'll build in, I think it's called move in. There we go. And you could change the direction of these things. But we like left to right. Now let's see how this slide goes. So there's one, two, three, four. Add the circle, slide in the words. Okay. So that's uh, table building a table. Now we're going to get into the fancy one. So let's review what this was. This is the, uh, what I'm going to show you here is called magic move. So those words slid in. We know how to do that. And then here comes the tricky one. Boom. Split that like that. And then one more slide. Boom, it goes like that. All right, so how do we do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to a fresh version of this. And let's first of all, let's take a look at this. If I lasso across this, you're going to see that I have little dots here, little X's, kind of like, you know, the dead Mac icons, but I have the little handles. That means these things have been locked. And the reason they were locked is I didn't want to bump them. And anything you want to unlock, uh, anything you want to lock, you just, you know, you select it and you go up to... Uh, what is it? Um, where is it? Arrange lock. And when I want to unlock it, I select it and I do unlock. Okay, so at any rate, I don't want to bump these guys so it doesn't matter. So here's how you do the magic move. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slide and I'm going to duplicate it. So now I have two versions of it here. Here's the first state and here's the second state. So in the second state, what I want to do is just grab body parts and you notice the little vertical... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? The um, center line. Okay, now I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like that, maybe. Actually, let's go to the other box. And I'm holding down the shift key so that it constrains. There's an arm there. Let me pull this back a little bit. And then we're going to bring this leg all the way over here. And we're going to bring this leg all the way over here. All right, so I've rearranged them, okay? So here's the first state and here's the ending state. So here's how you do this. You select this guy, you go over to slide animation, it's already been selected, and I, it defaults to none, but I come down here to magic move. And now look what it says. It says magic move moves an object from this slide to its location on the following slide. To complete this transition, the next slide must have at least one object in a different location that exists on this slide. Well, this has six objects. So when I come to this little guy and I hit, uh, actually, the shortcut I've been using is Command Option P for play. Okay, so there's our word sliding in. And then we're going to hit the hit the guy again. Boom. Now, you notice that the six megabit slides in again. We don't need that. And that's because I duplicated this slide. So on the second iteration of the slide, I am going to go build... Uh, do none on that. So it's just going to be in the same position. So let's watch our playback again. That guy slides in. So we're at the end of our state of slide one. Now we're going to do the magic move to slide two and all of our little guys slide across. Okay. Now here's the, here's the, tr here's a trick. We're going to do, I'm going to duplicate this slide again. Now what we're going to do, if you recall, it's this move from here to here. So we're going to recreate that. So I, so here's this first slide. That's the first state of the magic move. Here's the second state of the magic move. And now we're going to do a third state of the magic move. So what I want to do is I'm going to have to unlock my frames here. So I'm going to drag across all of those and I'm going to do unlock. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag across the first five or the last five, whatever. And I'm going to grab this holding down the shift key. I'm going to drag all these guys off the frame. 
Okay, now actually before I do that, I'm gonna drag a guideline out to right there because that's how wide the, the slides were. Now I'm going to drag all these guys with the shift key out to there. Then I'm going to take this slide or this frame and I'm gonna drag it to there. See how I'm doing here? Now I'm gonna take the little head holding down the shift key I'm going to drag it to the center of the page. The little line pops up. Take this guy, drag it to the center of the page. I'm going to start attaching arms. I think that arm is too far over. Yep. Again, I'm using liberal use of the shift key to make sure these things don't uh, wiggle around. And shift key again. And there we go. So now we're going to start state one of the th three magic moves, command option P. So the six megabit slides in, we rip the guy apart, we run it one more time, and we put him back together. And you see uh, that leg looks like it's a little disjointed. So I'm going to select that guy and scooch it over just a touch more. There we go. So let's do the second half of the magic move again, command option P for play, and run it together. Very good. So that's three different cool tricks that I use all the time in Keynote. Later.